when the sun sets, its light is heavily attenuated by dust in the atmosphere. And in other places, it could be pollution or pollen. But these particles in the air scatter blue light out of the sun into the rest of the sky, turning the sky blue. And the more blue light it takes out, the more yellow-red the sun looks. Right. And that's why right on the horizon, the sun is its deepest yellow-red it will ever be. And people say, oh, there's our yellow star. No, it's, it's, the sun is white, okay? Ask any photographer, by the way. In fact, to a photographer, the sun is blue. Because light does not travel at an infinitely fast speed. It travels 180, fast, 186,000 miles per second. That's fast, but it's not infinite. It's so not infinite that you would be frustrated having a phone conversation with someone on the moon because the delay is three seconds. You would speak, and by the time they heard you reply to them, three seconds would have passed. It would not make a good phone conversation. That's how long it takes the light just to get to the moon. It takes eight minutes, 20 seconds to get to the sun. It takes 100,000 years to cross the galaxy. It takes a billion years to get to the distant galaxies. 13.7 billion years to cross the known universe. It takes time. All right, put a pin in that fact. Another fact, the universe had a birthday 13.7 billion years ago. So imagine a universe that is infinitely large. Now, put yourself in the middle, and I tell you, this universe was born 13.7 billion years ago. 